Hi, welcome to the second of the Illustrator tutorials. Okay, so this one, what we're going to look at is we are going to look at um, how to work with shapes that you've already got. So we're going to look at movement, we're going to look at scaling, we're going to look at measurement, we're going to look at manipulation. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to draw yourself a shape. Um, let's draw a rectangle and hopefully you can remember how to give it some colour. So let's go with um, switch that around and let's give it a I'm go with black actually. So there we go, much the same as the rectangle I had in the first video. Right, so what we're going to do is with this rectangle, we are going to do some various things with it. So first of all, what I'd like you to do is copy and paste it four times. So you should end up with five of them. Let's just move them about. So hopefully you will agree with me that there are five rectangles here. What we're going to do is we are going to manipulate them so that they are all slightly different. And the first one, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it and we are just going to make it smaller. So if we want to make it smaller and keep the same proportions, we're going to press shift as we do this. Just the top corner, there we go. So that is our first manipulation, we're making it smaller. Right, the next one, what we're going to do is we are going to um, actually, we're going to go with that one because it's kind of out of the way. We're going to rotate this one 90 degrees. So hopefully, whoopsie. Hopefully, what we're going to have is we're going to have it that sort of way. So we're going to go to uh, Object, and then we're going to go to this button here, Transform. Here, you've got Move, Rotate, Reflect, Scale, Shear. So we're going to rotate this one. And we're going to type in the degrees we want to rotate it, which in this case is 90. There we go. So that's two of ours done. Next one we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same object, transform, and this one we are going to shear. Now I will put in the numbers and then you can see what happens. So we're going to put in 45 degrees. What I'd like you to take a note of is that this says horizontal at the moment. So 45 degrees horizontal will do that for you. So what we're going to do with the next one is we're going to do the same but we're going to do it along the vertical so object transform shear 45 still and we're going to go along the vertical there we go so that is what that does so already we have got ourselves four different things we've done and that one is exactly the same so what we could do with this one is we could move it so that it is actually it's not in proportion anymore so with one shape we've managed to do five rather different things i hope you'll agree that they all look rather different albeit they are the same color right so what we might need to do with these though however is they're taking up quite a lot of room on our page so what i'd like you to do is practice keeping in the same proportion but making them smaller and then moving them so that they're somewhere on your page so i would like you to keep them all the same color so we can see that where you've uh, started from there we go and the last one let's this up. so there we go we've got a whole range of shapes whole range of shapes that you've used, you've manipulated one shape to create. There we go. So, we've done scale as well, we've covered the scaling by taking it down. You could, if you wanted to, you could actually, let's copy this and put it here, you could actually scale it to a certain um, size. So we could go to transform, we could go to scale, and if we just click on it, it will tell you that at the moment it's 100% because that's what we've given it, That's that that is 100%. So if we wanted to double it, if we put 200% in, it will make it twice as big. Or, if we wanted half that size of the game now, we can make it, so if we control Z and back to there, 
we wanted to make that half the size, hopefully you're now thinking this is 100%. We want to make it half, so half of 100 is 50, so let's uh, scale it and let's put in 50 here. That will take it down even further, so you can have a fiddle with that. What would be nice is if we had maybe if we had a range of them. I think maybe if we could have them where they get bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's have that as fifth, say that one. Let's make that 100. That is 100 already because it's staying the same size, of course. So we want 200 to double it. So if you could make two, and then if we could move them and put them one inside the other, that would be great. However, and match up the sensors, so that would be brilliant. However, if I click off of that, you're not going to be able to see it, are you? Because one's behind the other. Now, what we can use is we can use the arrange tool. So if we click on there and we go up to object and go to arrange, if we send this front one to the back, so send to back, the other one will be in front of it. So I'd like to see you stacking yours up one on top of the other so that we can see them doubling the size. So now that we've done that, what I want to show you is I want to show you how to use the um, measuring so that you can actually be precise when you do this. So let's go back to black and white with one point stroke. So if you click anywhere on the board, you, you're doing a rectangle, you'll see that the width and the height comes up and they're in millimetres. OK, so what we're going to do is we are going to draw a rectangle where its width is 85 and its height is 55 and then we're going to click OK. Now I know I haven't put millimetres in there, it automatically does this in millimetres. If you're struggling with millimetres, millimetres are 10 times that of centimetres. So if you look at this, if you were to move your decimal place here, that makes it 8.5 centimetres. So this one, which is 55 millimetres, if you move your decimal place to in between there, it would be 5.5 centimetres. And we click OK. Now, there we go. That is the same size as a debit or credit card. Um, those are the measurements of the debit or credit card. So actually, in fact, if you were to print this out on A4, you'd be able to put your bank card on top of that and, uh, and prove that you've actually drawn it to the right size. So let's go for a circle. Okay, now this time, if we click in here, that's going to give us a width and a height. Now, if we wanted our circle to be 25 millimetres in height and width, so it's a circle, they need to be the same. So let's click 25 and 25 and click OK. So that is now a circle. If those measurements didn't match up, let's draw this again. So let's just whilst from this tool, click on it again. If we made the first bit 25, but the next one 50, I want you to think about what you think might happen. Let's see what if it's what you expect. There you go. So that is measurement okay we've looked at it's scaling and we've looked a little bit at manipulation um, what I would like you to do is I would like you to come up with a range of shapes that you've manipulated like we did here I would like you to come up with the uh, scaled boxes and I would like you to come up with a certain selection of shapes and I'm going to put the measurements on the board for you so you'll need to copy them. Now something I didn't cover in the last video which was a bit silly of me is saving your work. So I'm just going to show you quickly at the end of this video in case you didn't quite get that last time around. So if we go to file and we go to save, okay, it will come up I'd like you to have a technology folder, possibly even one that says Illustrator, and then I want you to type in what you're going to call it. I'm going to call mine um, Manipulation Measuring and Scaling. Which I'll 
perfectly happy and there we go and I'm going to hit the save button might have to hit it twice and it'll come up with this okay just click ok that's absolutely fine so I know that it doesn't look like a great deal I would like you to have fiddle around with um, some of those tools and see what you come up with good luck <laughs>